so I have quite a different um, sort of story to share with you. Um, as I like to joke, I was the one person in my class in business school that didn't want to make as much money. And I was a PhD student, and uh, I still remember, some of you can relate to this, people say, where are you going to go work? You know, Goldman Sachs, McKinsey, and I was like, I'm going to be for the government. People were like, mm, what are you doing there? <laughs> well, I believed in changing the world, and I had some great jobs. You're working in government for the city of San Jose. I taught on the faculty here for a while. I have some students in this very room. I've done all sorts of great things. There's one thing missing. Do I need any money? I was teaching here, and I did some movies. They were going into this thing called the internet. And I'd been out of school for 12 years and I hardly made a penny. And I literally woke up one day and I had a epiphany. I said, you know, making money would not be such a bad thing. <laughs> you can do some good stuff with it. And so I went and got involved in this thing called the internet. And one thing led to another. And I ended up helping take a company called eBay public along with the help of Jeff Stoll and some other Stanford grads who are extraordinary And one of the things I feel so proudly about is when we took eBay public, we were one of the very first companies ever to say, you know what, we're going to set aside some stock. We're going to give the philanthropic purposes. People say, wait a minute, the company went public? Philanthropic purposes? We set aside what turned out to be $100 million of stock for charity. Never been done for a company like the uh, so PFP students can not only actually make it in the private sector, I promise, they can actually do some good things with the money. So this led to my jumping into what a lot of you knew had always been my real dream, which was politics. I'd been active politically. I'd been the treasurer and vice chair of the state democratic party. And uh, so once I'd done well at eBay, after two and a half years, I announced I was leaving eBay to run to become the chief financial officer in the state of California. And I'm the world's fifth largest Republican. And I won this office, and it was kind of stunning within uh, six to 12 months of winning. The governor of California was recalled for the first time in history. We were facing bankruptcy as a state, and I was the chief financial officer. I think most of you have heard that. And, <laughs> <laughs> so it was sort of an extraordinary time. Schwarzenegger came into office at the State of the Union address, said we are 44 days from bankruptcy in the state of California. And lo and behold, there I was as a Democrat working with a Republican bodybuilder to make the state financially solvent. I never quite anticipated I would be on billboards with Arnold Schwarzenegger, but I was. And we got it passed. The state was solvent. And uh, we're still dealing with some of those issues. But it was fascinating uh, stuff. From there, I did something even more grueling, which was to run for governor. And this is not easy. 500 fundraising events, two years nonstop campaigning. You get hammered by negative ads. It doesn't matter who you are. You will be hammered in the most personal and visceral ways. You're gone from your family every night. And even though Los Angeles Times poll showed I was leading the governor by seven points. Had there been a head-to-head, -head, i.e., had I made the general, I lost in the primary by three. Why? I had done the dastardly, unspeakable thing of crossing party lines to support a Republican to be a problem solver and avert the bankruptcy of the state of California. Labor didn't like that. I paid a price in my party. So you have these challenges in your life you do the right thing for the greater good, even though you pay a price. And I'm here to tell you, I'm glad I did. I am absolutely glad I was gone all those nights. Millions of dollars of my own money battered in the press. Why? It's the right thing to do. And you will find out things about yourself you will never find out before, win or lose. It was the best thing I ever did. So let me close here, because we're right toward the end. Now, one of the great things about life especially if you have an MBA from Stanford, is there second acts. Arnold had one. Abraham Lincoln had one. I've had one. I've created a venture capital firm. We're now investing in clean technology, things that will change the world. And proud to announce Prequin, the firm that rates all venture capital firms, just said we were the, one of the top 10 performing venture capital funds in the world for our vintage. But I'm particularly proud of this. We've helped recreate the American auto industry 
with the first major electric car brand, and it's a stunning thing. I never would have been able to do this without a Stanford degree and the PMP part to match. So let me just close with one of my favorite quotes, which I think about all the time, from Teddy Roosevelt, another Republican. Far better is it to dare mighty things to win glorious triumphs, even though checkered by failure, than to rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy nor suffer much because they live in the gray area that knows not victory nor defeat. So I want to leave you with this. Don't worry about whether you win or lose. What matters is that you take this extraordinary education you've been given and do something big with it. Dream big dreams. Thank you.